Greetings, fellow Gators. I would like to welcome you first to the uh, another part of this project, uh, Serpent Guard. But I would also like to uh, welcome you in the new year and wish you that the new year will be better than the last one. So, um, since this part, we will actually start to print and uh, assemble together the final version of the model. And hopefully everything will work as intended. Anyway, okay, so this will be the first part of the print, of the build, let's say. So this is what we will print today and assemble together. So basically it's the first segment of the back of the helmet and also uh, the side of the helmet and all the links and the mechanisms inside. So, yeah, this is basically what will be uh, achievable after we assemble everything together. Okay, so as you can see, we will have uh, quite a lot of mask pieces and also quite a lot of linkages and also connecting material. So, uh, because it will be better to see actually the assembly itself, I guess uh, this presentation could be over and we can now move to the actual assembly. Before we do, there's one thing that I would like to mention because it's not part of the 3D data. And as you can see here in every link, I'm sorry, in every link, this uh, surface uh, is 0 0.5 millimeter millimeters offset it from the side of the link, from both sides. It's in every, every one, as you can see. Uh, the reason is that I wanted to uh, the connecting area to be only on the rotational part. But logically, uh, when you print it in 3D printer, you cannot have it like that because then this part would be, well, in space. Uh, thus, uh, I always uh, cut one side. So if we take a look at the part itself it is cut it like this uh, that's only because of the printing but I also created a sort of a washers which are 0 0.5 millimeters thick and the idea is to place them there as well so that the thickness original thickness of the link is still achieved. Uh, they are not part of the 3D data, but we will, uh, or you will see when I will try to assemble everything that it's better to actually put them there, just for your information. Okay, so I guess we can now go to the printing and assembling. Okay. Uh, so here we are with all the parts printed. Now I already inserted the pins uh, here to this part and also here. So yeah, I didn't want to, you know, waste time doing that. So uh, this is the first piece that we will uh, take a look at. And uh, we will have to attach those links with number one. Hopefully it's visible. To uh, one here and two here. So, yeah, we will start. This will be uh, the shafts that we will use. So, one there and yeah, but as you can see, it wobbles quite a bit. That is why uh, we will use the pliers and we will uh, move the shaft up. And we have to use the washers that I've been mentioning. 
so those are the washers so first one is done now we have to attach uh, two more here so okay it's true now don't uh, we will not push uh, the shaft entire way uh, down because here we will have another part uh, or another link uh, this one uh, number six so we will not uh, push it all the way down but we will focus on the second uh, link okay <clears throat> so now we have both of them all right and now we have to add the small one so i will put it here and move this side so that it's in place okay now i will insert washer okay and pull this shaft all the way in all right so all are attached so as you can see yeah all right and now we are going to attach the rest okay see so we have one long pin and then goes uh, through here we will help each other We'll help our, ourselves with the pliers. Okay. Now I will put washer there, and this is basically for this. Yeah. Okay. And now we can actually take the second washer. And put it over it and take the second half and simply put them together like that and now we have to attach those two links to those two holes like that so we will take those <clears throat> pins that are here and okay but I will put also a washer there okay now now we will we will take this part and we will slide it through here like that Now we do the same here. <clears throat> okay, I'm a moron because I made a mistake. I shouldn't put the two halves together yet, so <clears throat> I have to disassemble the two halves. 
simply because I have forgotten to do one thing. And that's to put this is here. the washer back okay but that's not that's the mechanism itself but now we have to take this part <coughs> And please notice that it has a little chamfer here and here in the front. That's the front and that's the orientation we have to take. And uh, here we have two knobs and two holes and it will go there. So simply... Okay. Now we will take this piece. Uh, yeah, I will. Now we'll take this piece and slide it to the back, the same on the other side. Okay, and now we can take this part and attach it here, second part, attach it here, and last but not least, this piece has, pieces has a, has a hole, so just insert them and ta-da, we are done with the first segment. Okay. So yeah, that's what, that was the uh, assembly of the first segment. I hope it was clear enough, though even I myself made a mistake there because I forgot to first uh, insert the link for, or the shaft uh, for this piece. Yeah, that can happen. Okay, so that would be all for now and uh, we will see each other in the next part. Have a very nice day and bye bye.